So we're going to be uh, doing a, a piece from Marco Ramirez called I Am Not Batman. Uh, incredible actor and good friend of mine, Jesse Perez, is going to be reading. And Matt Johnson, who I just met a couple hours ago, and they're kind of doing it together really for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. So Jesse Perez and Matt Johnson. It's the middle of the night, and the sky is glowing like mad radioactive red. And if you squint, you can maybe see the moon through a thick layer of cigarette smoke and airplane exhaust that covers the whole city like a mosquito net that won't let the angels in. And if you look up high enough, you could see me standing on the edge of an 87-story building. And up there, a place for gargoyles and broken clock towers that have stayed still and dead for maybe like a hundred years. Up there is me. And I'm freaking Batman. And I got Batmobiles and Batarangs and frickin' Batcaves, like, for real. And all it takes is a broom closet or a back room or a fire escape, and Danny's hand-me-down jeans are gone. And my navy blue polo shirt, the one that looks kind of good on me but has that hole on it near the butt from when it got snagged on the chain-link fence behind Arturo's, but it isn't even a big deal because I tucked that part in and it's, like, all good. That blue polo shirt, it's gone too. And I get, like, like, transformational. And nobody pulls out a belt and whips Batman for talking back or for not talking back. And nobody calls Batman simple or stupid or skinny. And nobody fires Batman's brother from the Eastern Taxi Company because they was making cutbacks neither. Because they got nothing but respect. And not like afraid respect, just like respect respect. Because nobody's afraid of you. Because Batman doesn't mean nobody no harm. Ever. Because all Batman really wants to do is save people and maybe pay Abuela's bills one day and die happy and maybe get, like, mad famous, for real. <laughs> oh, and kill the Joker. <laughs> Tonight, like most nights, I'm all alone. And I'm watching. And I'm waiting. Like an eagle. Or like a... No, yeah, like an eagle. <laughs> and my cape is flapping in the wind because it's freaking long and my pointy ears are on and that mask that covers, like, half my face is on, too. And I got, like, bulletproof stuff all in my chest so no one can hurt me. And nobody, nobody is gonna come between Batman and justice. From where I am, I could hear everything. Somewhere in the city, there's an old lady picking styrofoam leftovers up out of a trash can, and she's putting a piece of sesame chicken someone spit out into her own mouth. And somewhere, there's a doctor with a whack haircut and a black lab coat trying to find a cure for the diseases that are going to make us all extinct for real one day. And somewhere, there's a man, a man in a janitor's uniform, stumbling home drunk and dizzy after spending half his paycheck on 40-ounce bottles of twist-off beer and the other half on a four-hour visit to some lady's house on a street where the lights have all been shot out by people who'd rather do what they do in this city in the dark. And half a block away from Janitor Man, there's a group of good-for-nothings who don't know no better, waiting for Janitor Man with rusted bicycle chains and imitation Louisville sluggers, and if they don't find a scent on him, which they won't, they'll just pound at him till the muscles in their arms start burning, till there's no more teeth to crack out. But they don't count on me. They don't count on no dark night with the stomach full of grocery store brand macaroni and cheese and cut-up Vienna sausages. Because they'd rather believe I don't exist. And from 87 stories up, I could hear one of the good for nothing say, give me the cash, real fast like that, just give me the cash. And I see janitor man mumble something in drunk language and turn pale. And from 87 stories up, I could hear his stomach trying to hurl its way out of his dickies. So I swoop down like mad fast and I'm like darkness, I'm like swoosh. And I throw a batarang at the one naked light bulb. And they're all like, whoa, my Oh, who just turned out the lights? <laughs> What's that over there? What? Give me what you got, old man. Did anybody hear that? Hear what? There ain't nothing. No, really. There ain't no bat. But then, one out of the three good-for-nothing gets it to the head. Bow! And number two swings blindly into the dark cape before him. But, but before his fist hits anything, I grab a trash can lid and right in the gut. And number one comes back with the jump kick, but I know judo karate too, so I'm like... Twice. <laughs> but before I can do any more damage, suddenly we all hear a click, click. And suddenly everything gets quiet. 
And the one good for nothing left standing grips a handgun and aims it straight up like he's holding Jesus hostage, like he's threatening maybe to blow a hole in the moon. And the good for nothing who got it to the head who tried to jump kick me and the other good for nothing who got it in the gut is both scrambling back away from the dark figure before him. And the drunk man, the janitor man, is huddled in a corner praying to St. Anthony because that's the only one he could remember. And there's me, eyes glowing white, cape blowing softly in the wind, bulletproof chest heaving, my heart beating right through it in a Morse code for with me just once, come on, just try. And the one good for nothing left standing, the one with the handgun, yeah, he laughs and he lowers his arm and he points it at me and gives the moon a break and he aims it right between my pointy ears like goalposts and he's special teams. And janitor man is still calling St. Anthony, but he ain't picking up. And for a second, it seems like maybe I'm going to lose. Nah! Shoot, shoot, wakata! Don't kill me, man! Snap! Wrist crack! Neck! Slash! Skin meets acid! Ah! And he's on the floor, and I'm standing over him, and I got the gun in my hands now, and I hate guns. I hate holding them, because I'm Batman. And Asterix, Batman don't like guns, because his parents got iced by guns a long time ago. But for just a second, my eyes glow white, and I hold this thing for I could speak to the good for nothing in a language he maybe understands. Click, click! And the good for nothings become good for disappearing into whatever toxic waste chemical sludge they crawled out of. And it's just me and janitor man. And I pick him up and I wipe sweat and cheap perfume off his forehead. And he begs me not to hurt him. And I grab him tight by his janitor man shirt collar. And I pull him to my face and he's taller than me, but the cape helps. So he listens when I look him straight in the eyes. And I say two words to him, go home. And he does, checking behind his shoulder every 10 feet. And I swoosh from building to building on his way there because I know where he lives. And I watch his hands tremble as he pulls out his keychain and opens the door to his building. And I'm back in bed before he even walks in through the front door. And I hear him turn on the faucet and pour himself a glass of warm tap water. And he puts the glass back in the sink. And I hear his footsteps. And they get slower as they get to my room. And he creaks my door open like mad slow. And he takes a step in, which he never does. And he's staring off into nowhere, his face the color of sidewalks in summer. And I act like I'm just waking up and I say, oh, what's up, Pop? And janitor man says nothing to me. But I see in the dark, I see his arms go limp and his head turns back like towards me. And he lifts it for I could see his face for I could see his eyes, and his cheeks is dripping, but not with sweat. And he just stands there breathing, like he remembers my eyes glowing white, like he remembers my bulletproof chest, like he remembers he's my pop. And for a long time, I don't say nothing. And he turns around, hand on the doorknob, and he ain't looking my way, but I hear him mumble two words to me. I'm sorry. And I lean over and I open my window just a crack. If you look up high enough, you could see me. And from where I am, I could hear everything. Thank you.